If you are lucky enough to have a job in this economy, no doubt you are working very hard for your money. But is your money working hard for you? Interest rates are at an all-time low. The average savings account now paying a paltry 0.24%, not even a quarter of a percent. So where should you stash your cash to get the most bang for your buck? Here to tell us is Amanda Gangler. She's a writer for Money Magazine. Great to have you back this morning, morning, Amanda. Erica. It's amazing. My husband and I were just talking about we had opened an online savings account because it had such a great return a few years ago. It's at the same rate, if not less, than a regular bank. What happened? It's pretty depressing, right? Basically, yes. savings rates are tracking what's called the federal funds interest rate. That's the interest rate set by the Federal Reserve. And the Fed is really trying to stimulate this economy to pump as much money into it as possible. So it's actually lowered its interest rate, short-term interest rate, to pretty much nothing today. So savings rates have followed. And, are there, are they, and I'm guessing they're not going to go back up at all in the near future for that very reason. So you have some alternatives, if you're not really getting a good return on your savings account, of other places we could put our money to actually make a little money. Exactly. And one of the first things you say is, is look at different banks, regional banks and online banks. Why are these better than, say, the big national ones? You don't just want to settle for whatever the bank down the street is paying. The regional banks, these are smaller banks, and the online banks are offering much higher rates on saving accounts than the bigger banks. Sometimes, you know, anywhere from 1.25 all the way up to 2%. So you can search for them at sites like moneyrates.com. Mm -hmm. The one thing is you don't necessarily want to go for the bank that's paying the highest yield because sometimes that can actually be a sign of weakness, that the bank needs more capital. Really? So bankrate.com, the website, actually has uh, safety ratings. It's a five-star system. And our rule at Money is to always use an institution that has at least three stars. Okay, three stars or more. I like that. I hadn't heard <laughs> about that. I'm going to go check it out. You also recommend credit unions, which I think we all hear about. But what exactly is a credit union and, and how do you qualify for one? Credit unions are paying much higher rates than the banks today. I mean, they just didn't get into as many problems with the subprime lending as banks did. But a lot of people are surprised that there's actually a really good chance that you will qualify for a credit union better than a few years ago. They're nonprofit organizations. Ask around family, friends, maybe through your employer, your union, your church, your alma mater. They may, some of them may have a credit union that you, that you could join. But what's the benefit to, say, a credit union over a traditional bank? Why is it better? Because Just because they're paying much higher okay. rates today on your savings accounts. And you can also find loans there that are much cheaper as well. And as you mentioned, they're not for profit, which is good. Um, you also recommend a high interest reward checking account. What exactly is that? These almost sound too good to be true. Believe it or not, you can actually get as much as 4% return at some of these places. But the catch is they are they have a lot of requirements. You'll like probably minimum. have to sign up for a direct um, deposit, sign up for online statements. You have to use your debit card a set amount of times a month. So unless you're going to deposit a big chunk of money, it might not be worth the hassle. Okay. Some great tips, Amanda. Or, yeah, Amanda, always good to have you with us. <laughs>